Hi everyone, just a quick update. I've um, reached a thousand subscribers, which I am really, really pleased about. So I just wanted to thank everybody for um, checking out my videos. I know I've helped some of you choose appliances or queries with your appliance. And um, yeah, just to say thanks. Coincidentally, um, there's been a bit of a change here. So this is my laundry cupboard with a nice retro Mila sign I found on um, Amazon. And in here we have my new Mila Passion washer. So um, changed over this week. This is still the old um, tumble dryer. So I've got kind of two looks going on here. And yeah, only had this um, just barely a week. So just still testing it out. And I'm gonna do a sort of full run through now as part of my celebration for a thousand subscribers. So let's take a closer look then at my W1 Passion washing machine. So immediately you'll notice this is the different styling. This is the white edition, as they call it, as opposed to the dryer, which is the chrome edition. Um, I have to say back in 2017, when I was choosing my Milas, I didn't opt for this look. I just didn't like it. Um, I think maybe it was a bit too close to the LGs it was replacing. Um, but this is growing on me. I really like the kind of um, sleek styling and the um, very simple touch screen display there. It doesn't necessarily have the same sort of clatter and um, lots of buttons and text, although that, that was part of the charm. For the Passion models though, uh, and the dry as well, it's got this sort of silver around the door, not the white, and this one is nine kgs, just like the machine it replaced. So we've got this rather big on button here, which is quite responsive. And um, that gives us a big touch screen, which I'll go into shortly. So I quite like this door. I quite like the way it's slightly recessed drum light, which I'm sure is brighter than the last one. It seem, it does seem super bright. And uh, this model has got steam, so we've got the um, nozzle for the steam generator there and the recirculation nozzle there for the power wash. Interestingly, I've tried a few cycles and the power wash uh, is not only on cottons and minimum iron, it's also on every other cycle. So even on delicates, it was kind of spinning around and spraying um, water, so... I think that makes it a hell of a lot more economical. I've compared the sort of energy usage and um, it is quite a lot less than the one it replaced, but I'm not so sure I want power wash in every cycle, but um, that's something for me to test and try. There are ways around it. Over here is the um, detergent drawer. So we've got the usual meal of flap over the um, fabric conditioner compartment. And you can obviously also put your caps in there. I could get a few free caps, not as many as last time. So I think we've got um, Wool Care, a, um, their Aqua Flavor fabric softener, and one of the sports proofing ones, which I've never used. I, I don't really have sportswear that needs proofing. So I shall give those a try anyhow. I quite like the quality of this. Um, I must say I've had sort of machines with funky curved designs before and I found a lot of the control panels didn't align and they were just generally quite plasticky but this is you know very much German Miele build quality. So over here in the touch screen then this is very very different to what I'm used to which is like the dryer up there um, and everything is in the touch screen. Um, now, the thing I'm surprised most about is you can't actually change any program parameters once it's started. Um, and I think this is a sort of safety feature to prevent it being touched. But that is a shame because sometimes, you know, if you're not paying attention, you might have set the wrong temperature. You might want to adjust the spin speed. So unfortunately, none of that's now adjustable on this, not even on the app. Um, you're kind of quite committed. So I, I do find that just one limitation. I'm, I'm surprised by that. So if we have a look through here, this is a sort of home screen to start with. So we've got programs, favorites, and mobile start to do with the app. Washing assistant, which has replaced the mix load option from my last machine, which I kind of miss, I have to say. Um, if I just go into this, you sort of choose what you have, and then it will recommend a program. Um, whereas on my last machine, it would kind of tailor a, a sort of um, unique cycle, I guess, depending on what you'd put. So that's one difference I'm sort of missing. Maintenance and settings. So the settings is laid out a bit differently. Um, Twin DOS is in program sequence, so that that was just a, a bit hard to find because I had to make some adjustments when I first started. Um, 
and varying different options there, all the usual MENA options, uh, including obviously Network Now because this is um, controllable through their app. So let's have a look at the program. So we've got the usual ones here. There's a few different um, cottons have popped up and I've used this one because it's only an hour and a half. So I have to say generally the cycle times are a lot better. Um, although I think minimum mine's on a par there with my last one. Um, but uh, they all seem to be a, be a hell of a lot shorter, which is good. Um, you know, the last machine was, was good, but, but the cycles tend to be quite long. You know, uh, heavily sold cottons with pre-washed was over three hours, so. Usual quick power wash and automatic I haven't tried very much and I do want to try that. Again, I think it was the cycle times which put me off from my last machine, but I do want to try the automatic base purely because the um, automatic on my Mila dishwasher, the cycle's really good. So those were present on my last one. Trainers is new. I don't know that I want to have trainers clunking around in here, um, but I might have to try it. Downfold items is new, down duvets, sorry, down isn't, down duvets is new. And pillows I had before, curtains I certainly didn't. First wash, again, that's a much sort of cycle for, for kind of clothes that have just come out of the factory. And then you'll sort of separate ones here. So I'll go through, uh, I think, a program in a bit more detail. I'm gonna use quick power wash just to do some cleaning cloths. Um, but that's the general overview down here. I don't know if I love these. These are just a sort of push latch, but it does feel like it's just pushing on plastic. Um, so that's obviously the twin DOS for ultra phase one and two. And here is the uh, two pumps, one being the circulation, one being the main. But overall, after a couple of cycles, I'm very happy with it. This load of um, kitchen towels and cleaning cloths. And I'm gonna do this in the quick power wash cycle just to see what that's like. Um, so we go here to programs, and now what I really like about this machine is that it has some sort of drum weighing facility, so I'm not 100% sure how. Um, I certainly didn't have to calibrate anything, it just did its usual sort of calibration cycle when it was first installed. But it shows the load in 25% increments, um, so it'll sort of hit 25 and then 50 and so on, so you know when you've kind of loaded enough. One interesting thing is you can't tell from any of this, the total load for each cycle. So this I think is four or five kgs, um, but I only know that because I looked at the manual. Um, so I guess you can tell from the weighing side of things, but it would be nice if the total load was there. Um, so here we've got the sort of projected consumption and fill levels for the twin DOS, which again is really useful. And that's just the Wi-Fi, and you can turn the lights for the drum on and off using that button. So, I'm gonna put these in. And we haven't budged, oh no we have. So we've hit 25% of the, of the load there. See now I thought that was a lot more. Um, so it is interesting, just estimating by eye um, to the actual reality. So, let's have a look at the options then. So we've got Twindos Colours, Normal, uh, which all sounds good to me. 40 degrees, 1600 spin. Let's see what extras you can add. Oh, you can add pre-ironing, interesting. Rinse hold. And single wash I'd not come across before. Um, so I think that's pretty much everything I want there. Do you need to add some fabric softener? Using uh, my favorite Comfort Pure, I just love the smell of that and I've used loads. Um, so, let's see what the quick power wash is like.
going to our power wash.
So there we have the first quick power wash I've done on my um, Passion washer. I was a bit unkind to it. I did put a double sheet in there and um, as you saw at the end, the spin was beautifully smooth, um, if, if indeed quite quick. So I'm just gonna see how, yeah, actually they're not too bad. I might just give them another little spin um, just to make the tumble drying a bit quicker. But there we go, um, really pleased with it. If you want to see some things, please let me know in the comments and I will do my best to explore all the features and functions of the machine. Um, I've got loads of washing to do, so um, I will be sure to get a few other vids of all the different cycles. And once again, thanks to everybody for subscribing. Um, really, really means a lot that a thousand of you want to see my appliances.